Hello everyone, it's Atakan Pli. Uh, today I would like to talk about something that a lot of people are very very interested in. Yeah? Um, I get a lot of, a lot of uh, inquiries over the past few years. Why? Well, because in my Sengtai web, okay, www.sengtai.org, okay, uh, I do, I do, uh, I do put up amulets on and off, okay? And one of the amulets that capture a lot of people's interest is what we call Wat Po. Wat Po Prakpita Kradukti Wat Po, okay? Um, I'm sure, I mean, maybe the sound of it doesn't ring any bell, okay? Yep, uh, you, you do see, uh, I do put up photos here. Yeah? I do I do put up the photos okay uh, let me see okay now okay Papita Kadopi what pole sorry I got to look at the, <laughs> the other angle yep uh, this is one okay let me show you what we are talking about yeah uh, this is also uh, for those of you who are into uh, into Lung Phu Team Wat La Hang Lai Okay, you would know this is Prak Kun Pen Prai Kuman Pim Lake Okay This is Prak Kun Pen Pim Yai you see clearer in the photos, yeah I, I've uploaded the photos as well, okay uh, This one of my, our prized collection, okay Sivali, okay Sorry for the light, yeah Okay, but like I've said uh, You will see it very clearly in the photo um, you'll see this too okay prak lila satawat lumpa hok yeah and um, lastly what i have to show you okay Titama Akwood of Rumpa Chem. Okay. So what does all these few amulets have in common? Okay. Why is it that everyone is or a lot of people, yeah, when I say a lot, Malaysians, I have got inquiries all the way from China, okay, China, Beijing, uh, Brunei, uh, our Sabah Sarawak. Singapore is there's a lot of Singaporeans uh, that, that, that uh, call in and ask uh, but they didn't really ask very much about whether uh, how much is it or they're interested uh, because most of the time those I put up on my website have could have been taken already yeah mostly they are all taken okay uh, all taken by our members yeah well, because uh, these amulets are we don't find them all the time you don't find them all the time of course over the last few years uh, ever since when i first took down to i think that was almost about 10 years ago yeah and i always have this affinity to to, to always meet them eh? and, and it's difficult to find uh, because i think a lot of a lot of amulets a lot of famous amulets have got copies yeah so we gotta be careful now like i've said what is the difference between uh, these amulets and the rest why is it everyone seems to be so interested in them well because it is what we call pong kraduk pong kraduk means uh, you know prapita kraduk pi what po in fact the name says it uh, that means it, it has human bones remains uh. so these are what we call spirited amulets of course, I think sometimes the Chinese would, would use a, 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 a label, they call it Yam Pai. Yam Pai basically says that, uh, you can say it's a yin amulet, why? Because it's, it has spirits and, and, and that sort. Um, to me, I, say, I think if you do categorize them as uh, yin amulets, uh, it's not wrong, but what that is not wrong may not be right, yeah? Okay, to me they are just amulets. Okay, uh, of course, 
very different from the rest, right? very different from the mainstream amulets, what I would call the mainstream one, because they are usually made from holy powders uh, or herbs, okay, uh, and, and, and that's it, you know, everything natural, nothing, nothing with human remains or whatsoever, but these are very different, okay, uh, they have human ashes in it, okay, and of course, uh, different teachers will have a different reason on why they have uh, made such uh, unique uh, amulets. Uh, for example, Prapita Watpo was made during World War II in Thailand. Yeah? Okay? It was very much for the protection of the armies, okay? the Thai armies then. That's why uh, if you were to Google around, you will see that uh, a lot of these uh, um, other nations' uh, armies, soldiers, yeah? always commented that uh, the Thai soldiers are indestructible or they are they are what they call it ghost soldiers in that sense why right? because they cannot be killed or you know or if they were killed somehow it's like they resurrect back again okay this kind of things is it it is because of the spirit element yep and this spirit has to be uh, mostly pi tai hong pi tai hong means uh, humans yeah men or women that has died of horrific death uh. horrific death means they could have died in, um, in, in, in a very bad accident, they could have died being murdered, they could have died hanging themselves, things which are not natural, okay, and this is what we call horrific death. Eh? Why? Why must it be that? Well, it is because all these, these people, actually they have not come to the point of time whereby it is the end of their lifespan. Okay, for example, I, I'm 25 years old right now and I had a horrific death. Okay, but actually my actual lifespan is 80, for example. Okay, you see there's still a long span of time. And the, the energy, the energy or the stubbornness or the, 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 the energy, I would say, uh, of, of such spirits are usually very strong. Okay, it, it is exactly what they wanted, yeah. The, the driving force of the spirit okay so it, it all lies into who is the maker uh, in that in this sense like long putin what are like okay pra ajan nu or what po or long po cham okay or long po hawk okay all these are very good teachers and and I, i'm not sure why i mean all this information that we have got is what others have told us or what we have read okay I also won't know why because I'm not there. But uh, from my experience of, of experiencing with all these uh, am spirited amulets, it's just like any other normal amulets, but with the spirit effect. And a lot of there are a lot of rumors, a lot of irresponsible traders uh, would promise you the sun and the moon. But sometimes the, the, the collectors themselves, uh, after paying so much money, will end up seeing stars. Yeah? To me, there's no very big difference. It's not like after you wear one kumpen, don't put him what lah lai, that you immediately be rich or you have a very beautiful wife. No, it doesn't. It is just like any other normal amulets. Like I've said, amulets are secondary. Your kam, your destiny, your karma, that's the primary. Okay? So, um, a lot of my clients come and see me and from my experience because most of them I, uh, I'm very fortunate I'm very fortunate in a sense that I was able to be very close with all these clients of mine home uh, also into uh, this unique collection and you must see uh, you must see in their chart whether this person is suitable or not and I have seen yeah, those people who are suitable yes it does bring very unique kind of a uh, results uh, when it meets the right person with the right dawn yeah that means in your life and your destiny you must have this combination for example a lot of people wanted prapita white boys a lot for gambling yeah? uh, it is also very common in thailand they have this belief okay no, i i do not i do not i do not condone the fact that it is not true okay but then again uh, it is not as simple as just wearing it, okay, uh, and, and 
you go into the casino and immediately you can be like god of gambler it, it doesn't work that way if it is the person won't let it let you have it really or or you cannot even find it why because chances that everyone will be keeping it for their own self so if you can find it yeah then you must ask is it really like that or not okay uh, like i've said there are a lot of other factors into it how you wear your your current practice and all that it it it, it is all it, it all matters when it comes to all these spirited amulets and it's very important i always believe yeah and i know for a fact yeah well, because uh, i'm very lucky that i've got a teacher who has led me into uh, this unique uh, sort of collections since 2003 and over the last few years i've got to know uh, one of the best in thailand uh, now it's very much retired behind the scene it's a very uh, very skillful uh, uh, rich art practitioner into this 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 field itself uh, with one of the very famous teacher of the past yeah but he has passed away okay uh, it is more of the cambodia laos line lineage yeah? and i was i was um fortunate yeah to be able to know to see uh how how the process are what is it uh, what is the what, what what are the rituals involved and all that so it is not as easy as that to me it is just like any other normal amulets the only thing is perhaps you have to put a little bit more effort into taking care of it for it to be able to uh, give you the, the, the results that you desire but other than that okay uh, if you ask me it is very good in a sense that because of the, the, the additional yin factor the spirit factor yeah it's very good for people who are in dangerous profession okay yeah uh, in dangerous profession it is a fact I mean not only uh, what we know or read through all these literatures in Thailand when they want to sell you these amulets uh, but for my own, my clients will tell you, especially Prapita Watpo, how effective it is for people who are into a profession that could be dangerous. Okay, so and then uh, for people who wants who, who meets a lot of people, okay, who meets a lot of people who are in the sales line, uh, it is it is uh, effective uh, as compared to the normal ambulance that 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 works on meta, yeah. But of course, like I've said, it depends on whether the person's destiny or astrological chart. Eh? This person uh, has the element in the areas that they have wanted. For example, I give you a, a for example, uh, a person that likes to gamble in casino. For example, you see, you must you must find the the uh, very important essence of of Rahu, let's put it this way, it's Rahu, yeah? Uh, to see where Rahu lies in your chart. If your Rahu lies in the chart, the position whereby it, 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 it is the house of casino and all that, and you see that the alignment is in such that uh, it brings, it brings, um, it brings positive results. Then this kind of person, if they would wear spirited amulets, then you realize that they will see the results faster okay uh, that is only one factor uh, there are also many other factors okay uh, so a lot of people ask me is it good or bad uh, there's no such a good or bad huh? uh, i think all these things are just like any other normal amulets to me is the the bearer or the wearer's problem mostly why because we 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 collect it on the wrong basis of understanding okay to me you know you don't have to want you collect already like you know you read so many horrifying literatures about how they make you know after wearing it you, you kept seeing a lady goes a lady pregnant goes or you kept seeing this baby and all that no it doesn't work that way okay um it doesn't it's just like any other normal amulet but for people who are a little bit sensitive okay or people who are sensitive you might feel a little bit more but after some time that's all you don't you don't really get very obvious feeling okay because all these amulets are has gone through proper rituals yeah okay uh, nowadays there are many many of all these um, especially white practitioners yeah? 
are coming up with all these amulets what we call spirited uh, and that you got to be careful why because those amulets which i've shown you just now they were all made not because of money yeah uh, all these are old amulets yeah? they are not new uh, if you are talking about Papita what or what is it's um, since World War Two, Lumpur uh, Hawk I think it's two zero two five zero nine. It's about fifty sixty years. Okay, it's it's an old amulet. Okay, and those days they they make it with a very pure intention of helping people, not like now. If you were to use all these things, but with the intention of making money, it's it's it's, it's out. You know. It's out of it already. Okay, so um, to me, you got to know, yeah, where your source come from and all that. That's very important. Why? Because uh, some are really black magics. Yeah, uh, these are I don't call it black magic. Okay, it's just that uh, there are reasons. Yeah, why why uh, Lumpur team, for example, or Atan Nu would choose to use. Uh, bone ashes there it's there is a reason why okay but uh, uh, there's no proof to 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 back up whatever is it that I'm going to say so it's better not 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 delve into anything that we do not have concrete proof yeah so if it's just be based on hearsay then I think it's all over the net you can read about it but basically a lot of people will cook something up uh, cook something up interesting so that you will take this kind of amulets okay but to me uh, the value lies in the fact that Long Putin, what La Hang Lai, it's a very attained Kuba Ajan. Okay? And, and this thing, it's even more meaningful. Why? Because the spirit that lies in the Kumpan itself uh, is no longer like um, what we call some Tawesi. That means not, not, you're not talking about those hungry ghosts or whatsoever. Nothing scary. Okay, uh, the fact that if he would have gone through uh, a ritual conducted by uh, Lung Pu Tim himself and Lung Pu Tim being attained eh, uh, and, and, and perfected his virtues, yeah? uh, his virtues uh, the, the status of the spirit could have been elevated. Okay? Uh, in Thai, they have this, this, this term called Lang Atan. Okay? Lang Atan means to, to uh, practically, literally, translated as washing off the negative effect right but this this formula i think in thailand uh, it is not so not so much already yeah uh, a lot of all these good teachers are in cambodia in laos and all that thailand maybe if you are talking about in in the uh, nearer to cambodia laos burma this this uh, thailand areas like sisake surin buriram Chiang Mai also, yeah, perhaps they would have, yeah, but you're talking about the rest of the parts, very, very little, okay, it's like a dying art, yeah, so beware of, of taking all these things, but like I've said, uh, unless you are a person with a very strong faith in Buddha, Dharma and Sangha, then I think it's okay, you know, but if you are not, you are more of a person who has uh, greed, you know, or things that you want to chase after or you want to accomplish by wearing this and that and you hope hope yeah that these kind of things after wearing it can immediately serve it on the silver plate to you no yeah if yes i think like i've said i always say this very cynical uh thing yeah is that if it is then thailand will be the the best the most successful the richest country in, in this world beating uh, US or China flat but that's not the case yeah so uh, do do collect all these things with the right frame of the mind with the right knowledge why are these things so important yeah or uh, why is it not important or important okay so before I end this uh, video okay I uh, just want to say that like I've always tell a lot of my friends, for those people who likes to wear amulets, okay, I always I always advise people to balance between bunyarit and etirit. Eh? Bunyarit means things that is made by a very good teacher that we write upon, upon their perfections, eh? like Achan Man, or a very, very uh, sacred 
บูดาลพระพุทธจินราช may be right on the barami okay right on the barami but do understand yeah that even this we see problem with humans is because of karmas okay but bunyari doesn't really help to resolve karmic issues a lot yeah buddha said we are the master of our own karma and we have to resolve the problems that we have started whether it's this life or all these lives ago okay The only difference is we ride on their barami of the perfections. We hope that by the perfections, by the power of Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, uh, we hope to be able to resolve our problems faster, or with less stress and all that. Yeah. What is itirit? Itirit means things which are made potent, uh, or some some of you will say power. <laughs> okay, but I think it's uh, it is a very underrated kind of a word. Yeah. Yeah, power. To me, what is power? Okay. Uh, it really means things which are made potent. Yeah? Whether it's the powder, whether it's the means of the 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 uh, the ritual or the witcha. Okay. Uh, for example, for example, a kun pen. Kun pen itself has has a witcha itself. This amulet is very unique. Okay, that is that is it really. Then again, uh, who makes it? Which temple again? Would 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 determine whether is it bunyari or is it itirit? Okay, so I always say itirit. You you will need it. Why? Because we are in the world whereby, for example, we are doing business. Yeah, we are doing business, and we have perhaps enemies, uh, or we have people, or or we need to gain people's trust, or people's love, or people to to notice us. Okay, so all these things would need itirit things. Ah, uh, itirit things like kuman. เจ้ารักเจ้ายมสีพึ่งโอเคอ๋อ in in my Saint Thai web many many years ago a very very potent uh and uh the stakrut very good yeah we call stakrut ดอกไม้ทอง by หลวงพ่อทองพูนวัดบ้านเพนอยุธยา but Reverend หลวงพ่อพูน has already passed away for many years yeah and uh, unless we have those which are old which Reverend himself wrote it if not Uh, you know the rest. If it's not written by him, won't have that kind of effect. Uh, that's very good. And this is what we talk about. e t r e a d eh? you must have both. And to me, amulets like this, the spirit amulets by Long Pu Tim Wat La Hang Lai, Long Pa Ho, Pa Pi Ta Wat Po. It's a good combination. Why? Because it comes from a big temple, a reputable temple. It comes from a reputable teacher or a monk, which is uh, strong in this. Uh, practice of the Dharma, okay. So it has the bunyarit, the perfection, the perfection uh, factor. It also have the itirit factor. That means the potent, uh, the potent, and and this one is made potent was because of what? Because of the energy of the spirit. Yeah. So for those people who do not like to wear too many amulets, okay. To me, if you can find one very good, p r a p i t a w a t po. A long put him what la hang lai. For example, all these all these spirited amulets that has been for the past fifty years, no one complained that the a long put him long put him what la hang lai kill them or or you know they saw this spirit coming out strangle them or whatsoever. You don't hear these kind of things. Yeah, uh, you can safely say for the past fifty years, uh, these amulets which I've shown you just now, which you can see the videos. Uh, I I have photos, very clear photos, which I took myself. Ah. Uh. You can see, okay, uh, how beautiful the conditions are, and this, this, this amulets. Why are they sort of in Thailand itself? Uh, uh, not, not just the rest of the world. Even in Thailand itself, it's very much sought after. It's because uh, it has both b u d n y a r i t and e t i r i t okay, right? Anything else that you would like me to share on? Do you send me message and all that? Yeah, uh, a bit different from other people. They may, they may want to do a live. Or they may do a video every other day, okay. But uh, I'm not sure what else <laughs> you want me to talk about because there isn't much that I'm selling. Uh, more of explaining certain things to you, okay. Uh, coming on also, uh, there have been requests for people who wants me to do uh, perhaps a, a a general reading for people. Uh, yep, I'll, I'll have that on a monthly basis, okay. I'll do it in a very unique way. 
uh, that requires certain participation on your side. Why? Because I need to access the mental factor, okay, which is called the mind, which is the moon, yeah. Okay, so check out, check out my video next, yeah. See you again. Bye.